Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive channel. Now before I get into this video, I first want to thank Aura for sponsoring this video. Now guys, I used to get loads of spam calls and texts to my phone and I never knew what to do about it or why they were coming in. I now know one of the reasons why we get this type of spam is because big companies oftentimes do terrible jobs at keeping our data safe. Recently, Ticketmaster was hacked and the data of 560 million users were put up for sale on the dark web. This data includes full names, addresses, email addresses, phone numbers, and even credit card information. When breaches like this occur at big companies like Ticketmaster, what do you think they're gonna do about it? The answer is often nothing. These companies collect all our precious data and do nothing to protect it, you guys. And that's why I use Aura. Or it gives me alerts when my data has been a part of a data breach or leaked to the dark web. It also gives me fast fraud alerts if this data is used to access my bank or credit accounts. It also removes my information from data broker websites so I get way less spam. Aura also comes with things like transaction monitoring, a VPN, antivirus, and a password manager, parental controls, and identity theft insurance all these things in one single app at one affordable price. So if my data was compromised by the Ticketmaster breach, I wouldn't worry because Aura is on. It's always on and it's always doing the hard work of keeping me safe. Don't let yourself and your family go vulnerable to data breaches. Go to Aura.com slash impressive or click the link in the description box to get 14 days of your free Aura subscription. Now back to the video, there was a lot of controversy involving Taraji P. Henson and the TikToker Keith Lee because she did this segment at the BET Awards where she was walking through the crowd giving people their flowers and she did not recognize the popular food critic Keith Lee. Married, are you? Are you? <laughs> Hi, how are you? Mr. Keith Lee, I know what you're thinking right now. This is about a 10.9 out of a 10. Uh, oh. Now the guy she was actually talking to was another popular TikToker named Jordan Howlett, but she mistook Jordan for Keith Lee. And he had to point over and say, I'm not Keith Lee, he's Keith Lee. And you could see Keith Lee and his wife looking super confused and they laughed it off. It seemed like it was just an innocent mistake. However, it was awkward. It was awkward. And then she proceeded to flirt with Keith in front of his wife. <laughs> My bad. You fine too, so call me. Give him his flower. <laughs> Now, Keith Lee was not amused at all because after he got the rose from Taraji, he threw it on the ground and the Neighborhood Talk actually reposted this. He said in his caption, our name will be known in every room it's supposed to be, what it's supposed to be, and how it's supposed to be. With no confusion, God is amazing. <laughs> and he threw that dusty rose on the ground. Now, Keith Lee did delete this post because a lot of people thought he was angry. So he came back on TikTok to clarify what he meant. Last night was the BT Awards, and right now, it's something on my mind. Let's talk about it. First and foremost, I want to start by saying, I am not upset at Taraji P. Henson by any stretch of the imagination. And not only that, in my opinion, she smoked it last night. I don't think for one second Taraji had any ill will or any ill intentions behind the situation. The situation happened the way it did. It is what it is. I made a video last night where I had the rose that was given to me in my hand and I let it fall on the floor. The reason I did this had nothing to do with Taraji P. Henson. The reason I dropped it on the floor is that I wholeheartedly believe that wasn't my rose. That wasn't my rose. That wasn't my moment. It was given to me, but it wasn't mine. And I always say, I don't want nothing that ain't mine. I want was meant for me, nothing less, nothing more. The entire segment on the production side felt extremely rushed. Not only did it feel rushed, it did not feel intentional. It did not feel purposeful. I'm forever thankful for every room that I'm in. I was more than thankful and more than grateful to just sit there and enjoy the show. Me and my wife, we looked amazing. We felt amazing. We was enjoying the show. I've always spoke about my social anxiety. And for me, just to get out and be in that moment was more than enough for me. So to take me and my wife out of our seats, put us in different seats, give Taraji no direction to who we are or what we do, felt extremely unprepared and unprofessional to me. I'm personally a fan of Taraji. I've been for years and I always will be. I love to see her get the recognition that she deserved in that moment and had a platform and a stage that she's always deserved for this situation to take away from her moment and our moment. 
was unfair to both of us. And another example of this is a picture of my wife has been going around and it was a small part caught from an entire moment make it seem like she had an attitude with Taraji. My wife and myself understand the flirting that Taraji was doing was fully improv and fully joke. It was a hard situation for all of us to be in. We fully understand she made it up on the fly. I was there to just enjoy the show. I was invited. No situations and in life in general. Never once was I upset that Taraji didn't know who I was. Everything that's for me will be for me. Everything that's for my family will be for my family. Everything that's for you will be for you. When it's supposed to be, how it's supposed to be, with no confusion. I said that last night and that was still misconstrued and I stand on it a thousand percent. Whatever room I'm supposed to be in, whoever's supposed to know me, whenever they're supposed to know me, it will happen, how it's supposed to happen. Last night, while I appreciate the opportunity, it wasn't my moment and that's okay. I'm cool with that. And for every single person that's been on this journey with me and that's still on this journey with me, I'm forever grateful. I appreciate y'all. I can't say it enough. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. So that's what Keith Lee had to say. You know, very classy, positive response. Keith Lee is always positive like that. But he kind of called out BET for rushing everything. So the issue wasn't with Taraji. It was really with BET and their production team. They kind of mixed up the seats and kind of threw Taraji P. Henson off. So basically he was putting the fault on them. He did not blame Taraji whatsoever however Taraji clapped back at Keith Lee and she said life really too short for this behavior he wasn't in his seat they give celebrity assigned seats I rehearsed all day to go hit my mark and that young man wasn't in his seat so he missed his moment his ego is hurt he'll be fine I cleaned it up at the end of the show no love loss here now, I don't know exactly why Taraji had to respond this way because he literally said that he did not blame her. He put the fault on the team. So I don't understand why Taraji sounded upset with him. I don't know. It seems like people are trying to test Keith Lee. And I do hope that he doesn't let people get under his skin too bad because Keith Lee is a fighter. I don't know if people realize, but he used to be an MMA fighter so he can knock somebody out please understand that but he has rebranded himself as a family man and a food critic so he has to be poised and he has to keep a certain image but people keep trying him there was even a moment where he was walking outside with his team and somebody purposely mistook him for ddg <laughs> oh my god i knew that was you bro ddg bro ddg bro ddg bro ddg bro ddg bro DDG. I, I get your content. DDG, bro. I get your content. I thought I'll you were DDG, bro. I thought that was DDG, bro. Now, this was a joke. The comedian Gerald Huston was trolling him, but you can see Keith Lee got a little upset. See, people are really trying to get under his skin. And now that people see that he could be a bit sensitive and a little upset at times, they are gonna start poking and the tone is slowly changing on him. A lot of people are starting not to even like him. And there are some people who see his temperament and see how sensitive he could get and they'll just poke and poke and poke just to get a reaction. They want Keith Lee to go viral for doing something crazy. So I really do hope Keith is mindful of this and he doesn't get too out of character. Y'all leave Keith Lee alone. Leave Keith alone. He don't do nothing but review food and be around his family. So leave him alone. Now, moving on, I want to talk about this. I found this very interesting. Now, there's a podcast called Bag Fuel, and they were talking about the industry and how Taylor Swift has so much leverage and so much power. In fact, it was alleged that she demanded that her label, Universal Music Group, put their artist's music back on TikTok after they threatened to take it off. And she allegedly did this because she wanted to benefit off of TikTok the way Beyonce did. Well, tell us if you like my song. one of the most powerful people. We was there when... Then who cares if you like my song? Yeah, when she told um, Universal Music Group, make sure you fix the relationship with TikTok. Taylor Swift is the is probably one of the toughest niggas in the music business, right? Absolutely. Because when people people were surprised when they said Universal Music Group has resolved with TikTok, I was like, oh, we knew already when she was in that meeting, like, y'all got to fix this. She said she wanted what Beyonce, Beyonce got. Beyonce got yeah. Yes. And she was like, if y'all don't fix this TikTok situation, and I don't get what Beyonce had on her rollout, she said Beyonce's not even with a label, and look what TikTok did for her. Fix that shit. Or else I'm not putting my album out. That's it. <laughs> that's that. <laughs> that's that, beautiful. That's serious power. 
so this is what was being alleged they said that taylor saw how tiktok helped beyonce's album renaissance you know a lot of the music off of renaissance was going viral on tiktok which is why beyonce didn't really need to put out any visuals because the music was doing well on its own and beyonce is still signed to a label she signed to columbia records but she made her label a lot of money with her streams and her tour her tour was one of the highest selling tours of last year but her music did get a huge boost with the help of tiktok and i think taylor saw that and taylor wanted that now TikTok is not gonna necessarily make or break an artist like Taylor because her music is successful regardless. However, Taylor knows how powerful TikTok is. She's not dumb. She knows that it's very helpful for artists and she was gonna release her album, The Tortured Poets Department. So she needed that TikTok boost. She needed some help from that. So in order for her to release her album, she had to make sure that her label reached some agreement with TikTok to make things easier for her rollout. So I can actually believe that she had a huge influence on Universal Music Group's decision to partner with TikTok again, because Taylor Swift is a powerful woman in the industry, very powerful woman. She brings in a lot of money and she has enough leverage to call the shots and advocate for herself and other artists. So I could believe that she called up the UMG headquarters and told them to fix their situation with TikTok. I don't know 100% if that's how it happened, but I could believe that she had an influence on their decision for sure. But I do hope that the industry doesn't eventually turn on Taylor for having too much power because you know how they do artists who get too big for their britches. Anytime an artist gets a little too much power and calls the shots a little too much, the industry has a way of humbling them. I mean, look at what they did to Drake. None of that is a coincidence to me, but anywho, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.